Hey there guys, Neil here with an Android app review. So today I wanted to review a way to help make your um, home screen more organized and one that comes with plenty of features to get information that much more easily and at the same time save you some space and room. So the launcher is called Action Launcher. It is version uh, 3 in the Play Store. Um, more specifically if you're on the beta or on the later versions it's version 3.5.2 change the change log will show you exact all the recent changes um, I will come or I will talk about one of the latest features which is actually pretty cool so to start it off uh, one of the um, best features or one at least one of my favorite is the app drawer so you'll open it up by sliding your finger from the left to right of your screen and you'll get your um, apps organized in alphabetical order of course um, you can scroll vertically through it um, with your finger, so if you need to, if you want to uh, find it that way, or you can jump around using the letters that are available. So touch F, and you can get to your file manager or Firefox. Touch P if you have Pandora installed, you can get there. Your Photos app, you can get to that. Uh, the Play Store, anything like that. So that's a pretty cool way. It's a nice jump list to easily get through your various letters. So. Uh, very nifty. I actually like it quite a bit. So definitely worth checking out and uh, for that reason alone to use it. I know that mo uh, for me the uh, vertical traditional app drawer or even the horizontally swiping from screen to screen is a way it's generally been for the life of Android with various improvements. Android M is improving on that by adding the jump list feature uh, by touching the letter. But in this case it's a nice vertical way of getting through your apps. Uh, next up though is, um, or at least I talked about swiping from left to right to get to your home screen, but um, let's say you have your layout as you see here on my screen. You, I have my weather widget, uh, HD widget, Zuper widget up here. Um, but let's say you want to have a place for an overflow of uh, shortcuts. You have um, all your layout, but you have a widget or apps you want to use, but not necessarily all the time, but want to have... Uh, quick access to when you swipe your finger from the light, right to left of your screen you get something called a quick page um, as you can see I have it empty right now I don't use it very much but let's say I want to add the calculator widget because I want to have quick access to it but I don't access it all the time so what you'll do is your long press on your home screen you get your traditional wallpapers widgets and settings much like you see in um, the Google Now launcher um, I'll go on over to the calculator widget. You see all my uh, available widgets uh, sitting around. Um, so I'll pick the 4x4 calculator widget. Um, for the quick page, you'll see that little uh, box show up to show that it's available to drag there. I put it down and it's all set. So now when I'm on my home screen, I sw uh, slide over and I can start doing my calculations and um, go from there. It's a basic calculator, nothing too special about that. So, uh, but if you need to do a quick calculation, so if you need to do um, the tax rate, for example, then you can do get the tax rate and find that out and do your simple mathematics and go from there. Uh, the next feature, though, is something called a um, shutter. So when you have a app that has an, a, or a related widget, so for example, let's say Google Fit. Um, I want to have the icon there and let's say I want to see how many minutes I've walked today. Um, it's still early in the day so it's probably at zero, but I want to see how many minutes I've walked, but I don't want to have to open the app and slide over to see how many minutes it is. Um, what you'll do is you'll slide on the icon and you'll get, a, or the default widget will pop up. So you can see exactly what information is available. Since um, Fit only has um, the one widget, it's, it automatically jumps into that and tells you what it is. And then uh, touching it will open the app um, from there, much like a regular widget does. So that's really all there is for that. Um, if you have an app that has a multiple widgets, so let's say Easy Voice Recorder Pro, um, you'll you can. Um, uh, some apps I think it'll pick the default widget but in this case there's multiple widgets so I can say change widget and I can associate uh, one of the other ones um, so in this case there's just the um, two or three there uh, it's probably a bad example that I 
could have sworn there were more before, but, um, in any case, if there's multiple widgets for a, for a specific app, then you can, um, it will, you can, it'll let you pick uh, which widget you wanted to, um, use. So, um, that is it all for that. Um, the next feature though, um, Ah, there we go. And while I was thinking, talk, getting ready for the next topic, um, you can it, when you if you do have an app with multiple widget styles like the Facebook um, buttons versus the Facebook status, just changing it will uh, change it like you see there, and uh, it still shows it as a full screen overlay for the widget, but you can change them up just like that. Um, the next feature is something called covers. So this is a ta different take on um, how folder interactions work. So what I'll do is I'll start creating a new folder. So um, I'll start have easy uh, file explorer um, and let's say Google Plus as my folder. And you see it's a traditional folder, nothing special. You have to touch it, it opens a folder. But let's say there, um, I always use easy um, file easy, or ES file explorer and Google Plus. Let's say not so much, but I still want it in the same folder. When you open the folder, you'll see the three dots. So when you touch it, you can create a cover or uh, quite literally make a cover. So what it does is that it makes the first icon in that folder the default um, um, icon in App Launcher. So when I touch it, it will open that folder or open that app, sorry, and let me access it. But let's say now I want to get to Google Plus, I'll swipe up or down on the folder, it'll open that folder, now I can get to Google Plus. So it's a pretty nifty way of um, adding some functionality in a different way to the folder. So for example, in this folder with Feedly, I have a few my of my social media and social media apps and my games. But I use Feedly the most, so I want it to be the app that opens when I touch it. When I swipe on it, I get the rest of them. Same concept for my media app. So Pocket Cast I use the most, and then the rest I use at various other times. So they're all available from there. So that's really all there is for uh, covers. I actually I want to put that as my uh, second favorite feature, or probably my most second favorite recent feature at least because of that ability to just touch it touch an app and it launches whatever I use the most but swiping allows me to uh, have more apps behind it so it kind of keeps the screen uh, minimalist and simple but also have um, other apps behind it so I don't necessarily have to go into my app door and find the app I want the most recent um, used apps of that type are um, still available on my desktop now, if you're using Action Launcher version 3.5 or newer, a new um, feature was added. You'll see these icons up here at the top. Um, that in version 3.5 and newer, um, Action Launcher comes with the feature called a Quick Bar. Um, quick Bar lets you cr um, customize how that bar at the t top of the screen looks. So, if you use, for example, Google Now Launcher, you have the search bar at the top. With Quick Bar, you can customize what icons show up. Um, on the quick bar so you can enable or disable the three bars to open the um, your app drawer just by uh, toggling that there so the three bars come my app drawer opens I prefer to swipe but if you want the bars there instead that is an option um, so I'll turn it back off just so I don't have it there but the quick bar lets you um, add um, app shortcuts or sorry, apps, shortcuts, and folders in a slightly different way. So you get some presets. You get the your search, voice search, Play Store, things like that. By touching on custom, you can select a, any specific app. Um, if no app is, or it'll automatically create a white icon. But if none is available, it'll let you pick um, a custom icon. So let's say I pick all cast. It'll um, pick a clearer version of that but let's say I want to change that icon I can do edit icon and you get a set of grids to customize that icon as well and then holding down on it you can rearrange the order put it wherever you want so as you can see for me I have a calculator the Google search app Play Store and voice search nothing special there but let's say I want to create a folder for my SMS and phone apps um, just because I want it at the top of the screen instead of the bottom 
by clicking the plus sign and clicking menu group, I can I'll first be able to pick an icon for that group. So I'll pick that. And then it gives me the option to add um, any specific app. So let's say I'll start with uh, Hangouts. Um, I'll touch the plus button again and pick another app. So let's say, um, let's say for the phone. So you'll see that it shows up under the menu. Uh, touching the arrow will collapse it. Um, holding down on the, um, I'm sorry, I'll have to edit what I just said, but if you t you'll have to touch the three buttons, do add to, to add um, apps and shortcuts to the menu group. So I have Hangouts and Phones now in that uh, menu. So when I exit out of the settings menu and I touch my people icon, I now have Hangouts and I have Phone. So I can add and remove whatever apps I want, and you can create multiple uh, menu groups if you want. Um, so if you want to have all, instead of full, your cover, let's say you don't use covers like I do, but you want to have your menu groups instead at the top, you can have four folders at the top of your screen and um, have your shortcuts there. It does take a little bit of time to set it up as you do have to go one by one and make sure you add it to that folder. But once you're done, um, you are all set. And then, of course, there's still the shortcuts ability. So, if you, shortcut ability. So, if you want to have a shortcut to a particular Dropbox folder, a Gmail label, or your WhatsApp camera, something in settings, and you can do that as well. Um, the final feature, though, of um, Action Launcher that's pretty cool is the quick theme. So, what it does, um, this is a feature of Action Launcher 3 uh, version because of the material design that was added to Android uh, 5 is the ability to have a material design style wallpaper. So right now I have it set to material dark just because I like to keep the black wallpaper. But um, if I if you set it to wallpaper, um, what it will do is automatically select colors based on the wallpaper of choice. So I'll go into the wallpaper setting. Um, it's hit or miss on the default um, live wallpapers that are set, but if you use, um, for example, the Meizu live wallpaper, it is compatible with that. So let's say I'll just pick this one right here. I'll do set wallpaper. So you see that now my um, uh, notification drawer and my quick bar were uh, are have been themed to match the colors for the wallpaper. Um, the my folder wallpaper is also adjusted there and same thing with my um, app drawer and uh, quick page so you get a pretty cool theme um, it's big, good to pick one that has a consistent color palette to make it easier <coughs> but um, in any case if there's a wallpaper where the app doesn't have or has trouble picking the colors it will let you know and you can see the item colors have been um, um, adjusted to match the wallpaper so uh, something pretty cool there to have a, a unified um, UI a launcher home screen experience so that's really all there is for that um, otherwise you have pretty standard um, options so you can pick your icon pack uh, scale uh, what your cover and shutter indicators look like um, your desktop grid size you can have four by four or five by five whatever you want um, and that's something I actually forgot to mention the quick page size matches the size of your home screen so if your grid is four by four that's the size of your quick page if it's five by seven it'll match it that way as well so um, pretty standard uh, feature set there um, you can set your um, app have you have a free app drawer settings um, you have the ability to set some shortcuts so if you want to have um, swiping so a single finger swipe down will open the notification drawer a double swipe will open the quick settings a swipe up will open the action launcher settings things like that and then um, double tap triple tap all of that and then you can back up your settings and layout so if you're switching from one device to another you can have it import or if you're um, on a special ROM like me, like CyanogenMod, and I'm um, doing a clean install, then or even like a factory reset on your device, and you have that backup there. So something to consider, very uh, powerful and um, easy to use. Uh, I don't want to say simplistic, but you can create a minimalist um, look and feel on your of your device on how it looks. 
and have quick access to everything that you uh, use. And the, see, I switched the wallpaper to black. It says unable to fetch colors because there are no colors. So uh, something to consider there, but definitely um, a launcher to check out and up there as far as uh, development. The developer is consistently updating the app, or the, sorry, the launcher to add new features, fix bugs, very, very responsive. So definitely worth checking out. Um, the launcher is free with uh, certain limitations, but you can always um, purchase the app to un unlock full features. So something to consider if you want to change the way your home screen looks or want an easier way to navigate around, especially if you have, um, as we're getting, or as we have bigger and bigger devices, um, I believe my screen is 4.7 inches, but if, for example, if you're getting the new Moto X, uh, that's at 5.7 inches, I believe, and you need an easy way to get around and want um, your folders at a fingertip or you want to scroll vertically through your home screens instead of horizontally so uh, definitely the launcher to consider so if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that you can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on twitter at patel n01 but that is all for this particular review thanks for uh, watching and listening and until next time